So as you can see here, I have a web browser showing in my output window of ProPresenter 7. Previous versions of ProPresenter had the ability to show a web browser in the output window, but ProPresenter 7 has taken this feature out. But I frequently hear people asking, how do I show a web browser in ProPresenter 7? When they ask about showing videos, I suggest downloading them for playback, but these are pre-done videos that can be easily downloaded for playback. A web page needs to be clicked on, it needs to be interacted with. So we're going to accomplish this by sending an NDI feed over the network from another computer to the presentation machine, displaying the web page or anything else on the screen in ProPresenter 7. So step one over here is to download the NDI toolkit from ndi.tv. This will allow us to send the second computer's screen to the presentation machine. Several NDI programs can be installed, but we only need to use the NDI scan converter. The others will allow us to monitor NDI feeds on the network, as well as integrate with software like Adobe Premiere Pro. Go ahead and open the NDI scan converter, and in the menu under Capture, select Desktop. Now our desktop is being sent out. Any device on the network, including our presentation machine, can now see that NDI feed. So on the ProPresenter 7 presentation computer, open Preferences, go to Inputs, add a new input, let's call it Remote Screen Capture. Now in the media bin, open Video Inputs, add a new input, and select Remote Screen Capture, that same input that we just built. Now we can add this to a slide by simply dragging it to the slide. Click on the slide, and now it should pop up on the output window. So if it doesn't show up on the output window, you might have some layers blocking it. Clear those layers down to the live video layer. Make sure that live video layer can be seen. If this is the case, I'd recommend adding a clear all action to the slide with the video input. If that doesn't make it show up, go to screens looks. Open this and make sure the active look has the live video activated on the output screen that you want it on. As you can see here, I have a web browser showing in my output window of ProPresenter 7 coming from my other machine. The input is coming from this second machine where it can be interacted with. If this is happening over your Wi-Fi, it could be a little laggy, so I'd recommend both computers being hardwired into the network. Audio can be technically transmitted over this NDI link, but be sure to test that before trying it out in a live production environment. So now we can show our church's website on the screens, we can interact with it, we can do anything else also that we can do inside of a web browser. Well, hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps. Questions, comments, leave them in the video comments. If you have any questions or would like to talk about this further, send me an email at crazyamazingnathan at gmail.com. Talk to you guys later. Bye.